Consider this a late Halloween treat. Here's a comparison look of the new 2018 Halloween Michael Myers compared with his former cult classic self. A viewer on Facebook had asked me, uh, would I be willing to do a look, a comparison look between the NECA Toys Halloween 2018 Michael Myers and the earlier released, much earlier released NECA Cult Classics Michael Myers. And I was more than happy to oblige. So that's what we're going to have a look at in this video. So I guess the best place to start is probably taking measurements of these figures. You can probably see right at first glance that the 2018 Michael Myers is much shorter than the NECA Cole Classics Michael Myers. But just how exactly, how much different in height? Well, the 2018 Michael Myers stands at a 7.5 inch tall height, which translates in centimeters to be 19 centimeters exactly. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch that back to inches. We're gonna measure off to the top of this Michael Myers and would you not believe, unless perhaps I show you, right to the very top of his head, this NECA Cult Classics Michael Myers stands exactly eight inches tall. So about half an inch taller than the 2018 release, which in centimeters, let's switch that over right now, the centimeters on Cult Classics Michael Myers shows at about 20.3 centimeters tall. Now, we're not necessarily going to run through all the various Michael Myers because they're pretty much identical to one another. I think so much for this example, I just ended up grabbing the Bob Sheets Michael Myers. But you can also use the Michael Myers, for example, that came with the Evolution of Evil. The only other Michael Myers that I had at one point and sadly had sold since was the Night He Came Home set. I sold it and sort of regretted it later, but it is what it is. Um, but again, like I have two Michael Myers in my collection. They're pretty much identical to one another. If anything, at the very least, you could say that the paint has changed slightly, but it would likely only be like a figure to figure basis. The boiler are identical to one another. The arms and legs and feet are all identical to one another. So again, it's just a matter of which one you wanna grab and which one you wanna do a comparison for. I think the eye placement is a little bit better on this one here, which I think is the evolution of evil Michael Myers. Um, the one that came with the bob sheet, I just noticed the eyes are a little harder to make out. So I think I'll probably just end up using this one for the comparison. Now this one also, because it was the evolution of evil Michael Myers, so also happened to come included with a young Michael Myers. I know, I know, I've done reviews, extensive reviews on all of these. If you guys wanna go back and have a look at them, I think I've actually done a couple of reviews on this set and this set specifically. Now this Michael Myers is the only time we've ever received a young Michael Myers from the folks over at NECA Toys. Now, of course, there's always the possibility down the road maybe that as NECA claims back the licensing for some of the uh, other Halloween movies that maybe we may eventually see ourselves getting an ultimate version of young Michael Myers. In the meantime, this is kind of what we have to work with. And of course he came with the, the clown mask, which again, it's made of elastic, and I'm surprised actually that it survived as long as it has. The hair doesn't also help because it's such a full head of hair that getting the elastic over it, I know sooner or later that thing's gonna break. So just kind of wanna show you what it looks like. There it is with the mask on his head. Again, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time getting into the real uh, high-end details like all the intricacies of each of these figures because really I've done a full extensive review on all of them. But this is just sort of a comparison. So we're going to move young Michael Myers out of the way. Yes, he is sadly still broken, broken on both arms, really just chalking it up to the clear pegs that they used to use for a lot of their cult classic figures. Um, I'm still very much an advocate of not gluing these in place. If you don't glue them in place, the friction and the friction alone, you can still move the arms. Um, they're not really attaching to anything by this point, but if you just if you just sort of force the arms back into and line them up as best as you can to where they started from, you can still move the arms perfectly fine. It's just, you'll know, your friends may not know, but you'll know that you broke the peg, but no one will be any bit wiser. So I very much advocate, don't glue the arms once they're broken. Leave them, leave them. You can move the arms any which way that you want. 
and still not have to worry because once you glue those, those arms aren't going anywhere. Moving that aside. Some of the other comparisons, of course, we can make can be taken from some of the other various accessories that can include with both of the figures. One of the other accessories I'm sure we could do the comparison for is the two Judith Myers tombstones. Now, in all honesty, I kind of like the earlier tombstone a little bit more than the newer tombstone. It's got, unfortunately, a little bit more of a contrast of colors, but I like just the more darker nature of it. Judith Myers also is a little bit darker. You can see that the font is a lot bigger. Of course, there is the big problem that the date is incorrect. A lot of people had commented on that. 1965 here, and here was 1963. But again, I kind of like this tombstone just a little bit more. It's a lot thicker, and while it doesn't necessarily have the bottom part of it, it's accurate to the way it sat on the bed, minus, of course, the date being incorrect. There's the two various tombstones. This is the 2018. This is the NECA Cult Classics. I believe it was the Evolution of Evil that came with this one right here. We can move those aside. Other comparisons we can make, because I aim to please, is, of course, the Jack-O-Lanterns. Now, this was the one that came included with the 2018 Michael Myers, and if you remember, it does have the flickering light. A nice effect. Kind of still wish that the bulb was a little bit further up so that you didn't see it right looking through the nose area. But other than that, I know some people don't like the heart-shaped eyes. But again, a nice looking uh, jack-o'-lantern. And it's a lot easier turning it on and turning it off versus what we initially got with the cult classics. This jack-o'-lantern has been repeatedly released. The night he came home came with it. The evolution of evil also came with it. And this one did have a battery compartment. It was to light up when you press down on the stem of the pumpkin. Sadly, over the years, it just has died, and I really haven't gone back and changed the battery for it. Uh, for the comparison up to the two, a lot of people, purist-wise, will probably want to gravitate a little bit more towards the Halloween 1 jack-o'-lantern versus this one right here. But certainly, technology, as it's advanced, has also advanced for action figures, and NECA has now proven that by having an on and off switch, finally, on these jack-o'-lanterns versus... Oh, trying to get that to work, and you're leaving a mark all over your finger as a result of it. There's the two jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, then we can look at knives. Why not look at knives? I like knives. Um, the Evolution of Evil, I'm just grabbing these as the go-to for the knives. Um, this was the larger one for Michael. This was the smaller one for younger Michael. I have to stress younger Michael. This one did have the blood. This one did not have the blood, but it was a much longer more menacing looking blade. The rivets unfortunately were left off here. I suppose a very neutral silver paint was just sort of covered across the entire blade, but uh, certainly to the credit, it's a much bigger blade. Uh, the Michael, young Michael's blade was a much thinner, slender blade and a thin, thinner, slender handle as well. Now this was the one that came included with the new 2018 Michael Myers. Now, it actually is. It's not quite the same knife. So if anybody says, well, it's not the same knife. No, it's not the same knife, but it's a very similar shaped knife. This one's a little thicker. It's not as long as the one that came with the younger Michael, but it is a far cry from the one that came with the, evol the Evolution of Evil or the cult classics, Michael Myers. This one's a much bigger knife. It's probably a little bit too big, I think, for 2018's Michael Myers. Um, this is kind of a, a happy medium. I think the middle one is a happy medium between the three various knives. Uh, paint also gets a little bit more carefully applied, I think, between the rivets of the handles and then just overall how the paint's been added to the blade. So there's your accessories. I guess that only then leads to comparing the two figures. Now, I could not obviously do a service and say that this figure, the one that came with the evolution of evil, is just as good as the new Michael Myers. Certainly this one, from a construction standpoint, this one is leaps and bounds better than this one right here. But of course, being that these are slightly older figures, there has to be a little bit of charm that comes, in, comes included with those. And you have to sort of look at them as, as a different type of figure than this one right here. If you're looking at it simply from a construction standpoint, this one is so outdated to this one right here. 
This Michael from the 2018, which we've already done the review of, of course has the rubber bodysuit, this softer plastic that's been applied over the top of the torso that hides the underworkings of the body underneath. They've done a pretty good job of kind of keeping it neutral, not adding a whole lot of extra paint to it, which is unfortunately something that the cult classics figures were really notorious for being. Taking a base coat, in this case, the plastic was likely black, and just slapped over top of it a lighter shade of almost this bluish gray. I mean, it works okay, and it worked fine for when it was, but certainly now looking at it, it does look like it stands out a little bit. Uh, the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs were also notorious for this as well, just taking a darker black color and then simply just adding a lighter shade over top of it because then the creviced areas still remain the dark areas and then the lighter areas are of course just more the surface painting that you're doing over top of it. This boiler was much more straighter and I guess that's one thing that this benefits from being a little bit more is the fact that the boiler is more straight. It's straight and drops. Whereas this one, this Michael of course, he's a little bit older, we have to factor that in, but he does look a little heavier here, as certainly he does in the movie. He's not as slender as this one is right here, so maybe people gravitate a little bit more towards that one because he's just a little bit more slender. Uh, the head sculpts, if we compare the two side by side, Somebody had also asked, could you take the head off this one and put it on this one right here? I'm going to level with you. I, I haven't tried that. Being have had such the history as I have with clear pegs, knowing that that likely is going to be a clear ball joint underneath that, I didn't want to run the risk of trying to take that off and replace it with this Michael Myers. I guess in theory you could, but I mean, proportionately, the head is going to be way too big. The only other workaround that I thought of doing is maybe trying to dabble with the McFarlane Toys Captain Kirk and seeing if I could get another one of those and doing some paint modifications to that to see if I can get an original 78 Michael Myers. The other one that we, of course, looked at was the this head sculpt, which later on, realizing that this is basically like the two actors wearing... This, this, I believe, was the original Nick Castle wearing this mask. It's a little bit different shape than this one right here. But there are the three various head sculpts. You can still see that, I mean, the head sculpt on this one is a little bit longer than what we would get with the newer Michael. And I still think, I guess you could take it off, but I think you would end up breaking, ultimately, the, uh, the clear ball joint here. And it would just be such a mess trying to put it over here. You probably would have to glue it in place. And of course, some painting would be required. I think I'm much more readily prepared to take the Captain Kirk head sculpt from the uh, the very bad so far McFarlane toys. That's not true. That's not true. Captain Kirk was good. Captain Picard was dismal. But take the Captain Kirk head sculpt. See if it actually matches size-wise to this one and maybe do some paint modifications. I might try that. I might try that. I'm not a customizer, really, but uh, it's certainly something that I would consider doing. Now, I could talk, I could certainly talk articulation, but you know articulation is going to be leaps and bounds better on the 2018 release than on the cult classics. Here, you're essentially getting a dumbbell ball joint, so a ball joint here, a ball joint at the top, not in his eyes, but a ball joint right here, allowing for a full poseable head sculpt. The arms hinged outward, and uh, knock on wood, I'm just going to imagine I'm knocking on wood, the clear pegs have not broken on these. I think by this point they used a dark, yeah, they used a darker, more solid plastic peg on this guy. Unfortunately, Michael, the young Michael didn't have that, but the arms nonetheless moved all the way around. He didn't have necessarily a hinge on the elbow that this guy has, but instead he has a straight swivel, and the hands also had a straight swivel. Nothing in the waist, and then again, very, very mild, very mild in the feet. Uh, we've already done reviews on this guy, and then technically we've done reviews on this guy as well. So, I mean, you've already seen all the full posability on this guy. His arms, arms are pretty much the same as that guy right there, but he does now have a double hinge on the elbow. The hands are about the same. Waist is gone because they've added the overlay over top of it. And then you've got ball joint legs. This guy didn't have ball joint legs. You've got hinges in the knees. You you know the drill. And this guy had it. This guy did not. So certainly, 
I don't want this video necessarily to be a comparison video because really at the end of the day, it's hard to compare two figures from such a big gap of time. These ones are really old figures and with that comes unfortunately the sacrifice of things like posability. Paint might be marginally a little bit more primitive and then of course the sculpting could have been some improvement certainly could have been made for the sculpting. Um, Michael Myers now from 2018 is still probably I would say my top figure right now of the new year 2019 Michael Myers is probably my top within my top 10 must pick up figures if you haven't already picked them up um, it's so happy I'm so happy that we're finally getting ourselves a Michael Myers even though it took long enough and unfortunately it's not really tied into any of the previous Halloween outings but I hope this is the start and NECA is going to be uh, you know eventually getting the licensing again that we can start seeing some of the Michael Myers start surfacing but I did want to also kind of do this review as sort of a reflection a look back if you will seeing where we started from and eventually where we led ourselves to of course changes and prog progression has has advanced when we get to the 2018 Michael Myers but it again it's always nice to kind of go back and see where we started from and again I want to thank the viewer on Facebook who had actually suggested to me could you do a comparison between the two and being such a big Michael Myers fan myself I was more than happy to oblige if you guys, by the way, haven't already followed me or haven't started following me on Twitter and Facebook, I'll put all the links down below. It's always nice to, if you guys want to kind of see what I'm doing when I'm not necessarily reviewing, or if you guys want to, you know, send me comments or questions directly, it's always the best route to go. And I'll put all the information down below to both my Facebook and my Twitter pages. In the meantime, though, today we were doing a comparison video, sort of a fun video, a retrospective look at both Michael Myers, one from the earliest released cult classics lineup to eventually what we would get with the 2018, the ultimate, if you will, Michael Myers. Uh, if you guys also haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, Make sure you do so because certainly more videos, even videos like this, I may do more of these into 2019, some more fun comparison videos. And if you guys certainly would like to see more of these, let me know down below in the comments section. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.